Front glaze framing systems have been thermally broken now. Um, we've, we've introduced that um, about a year ago. We can do that in both the 100mm frame and the 150mm frame. The advantage of that is it separates the um, inside metal from the outside metal, which stops th reduces the thermal transmission from inside to outside. One of the, um, the sashes that we've, um, we've shown right now is the, uh, that we're quite keen on selling is the, the Truth Sash. It's, uh, it's a, a much bigger sash. It can be made up to 2.4 metres wide and up to uh, around a metre high in that configuration. Or you can make it up to 2 metres high by a metre wide. It's got a multi-point locking on the side which allows you to pull up very tight against the seals and gives you very good water performance and air infiltration numbers. That's the profile. With the, um, with the Truth Sash, we've also added some Monticelli gussets here. And what they do is they allow the joints to pull up much tighter, so when you've got very large sashes like this on large profiles, it's important for them to pull up tight. So we put adjustable gussets in there, and what happens is you can actually crank the, crank the joints up tight so that you get a much tighter seal, a much better water performance and air infiltration numbers, and of course it's much better for your energy as well. When we developed thermal commercial framing, it was, um, it was it weren't, we weren't just doing it so it could split colours. It's, it's very much, it's very important to stop the transfer of energy from hot to cold. So if you've got hot, if you've got a very hot environment on the outside and you've got your air conditioning going on the inside, you don't want all that heat transferring through. And of course, if it's on a cold day, you don't want all that hot, en hot energy or warmth that you've generated by heating the house or the building transferring out through to the cold. If you look at um, our our thermal um, simulation machine, you'll be able to see how that works in action. You can see that it actually on non-thermally broken metal, you see it's actually condensates and it gets freezing cold. And of course, that's simulating the hot energy over transferring through, through to it, which is losing energy. And you can also see the thermally broken metal, which is one side is relatively normal, has a normal temperature, and the other side will be relatively cold or very hot.